Warning, this video is a critique of the online personality of a YouTuber only. All opinions are my own and not fact. However, if I do call them a cunt, I fucking mean it. Okay, let's get things started by asking the question that most people are probably still scratching their heads over. How many times does this guy have to get caught promoting stuff that he either helped create, got paid for, or owned without disclosing his involvement in it before people stop licking his ass. On the subject of his ass, he is actually quite lucky he isn't being pummeled by Big Leroy and the posse after the whole CSGO clusterfuck. You still confused? Well, let me explain. On YouTube, companies will approach you to promote their product in return for money or just free stuff. If this happens, then by law, you have to let people know this in the video or in the comments. Remember, this is by law. Now, obviously, Syndicate doesn't think that this law applies to him, as he's run afoul of it three times to date. Well, that's three times that we know of. Anyway, let me break it down for you. Example 1. Syndicate was a founding member of game creator 3BD, or 3 Black Dots, who released the game Dead Realm. He then featured heavily playthroughs of the game on his channel, all the while failing to disclose his role in the company. With all the usual bullshit he comes out with on his streams and playthroughs, I'm sure the arsehole really did make a pretty penny from his subscribers on this one. Example number two. During the launch of Xbox One, the YouTube network Machinima paid its YouTubers a ridiculous amount of money to promote their console to millions of their viewers. Now, two YouTubers were mentioned by names in documents that were later released, one of them being, yep, you guessed it, good old Syndicate. He was paid a whopping $30,000 to speak positively about the console, and then was contractually obliged not to be negative about the console or gameplay. Now that, that is a bit of a scumbag move, if you ask me, but hey. Example three. In 2016, he was ousted as being part owner of CSGO Lotto, a skin gambling website for the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Both himself and fellow YouTuber T. Martin often made video of them winning thousands of dollars worth of skins that could then be sold on for real money. Not only that, but the site itself took an 8% slice of the action. It was all fucking staged. They had the ability to win or lose as much as they wanted. And for me, this is the worst fucking thing. There were literally millions of kids that were watching him at the time. And he ripped them off. Knowingly. How the fuck is this guy not in prison? But that's in the past, right? Let's look at the quality content he's churning out now. Recently, Captain Repetition, aka Syndicate, has moved away from streaming and playing games and now does daily vlogs about his life. Fuck knows why, if I wanted to know what some random nobody was doing every day, I'd start installing hidden cameras in my neighbour's house again while they were out. But nonetheless, hundreds of thousands of people watch this dross every day and it follows a really simple format. Let's take a look. Right, first of all, wake up at 2am, say the same line about it being a new day, usually looking out some window of a house he had built with money he got through not disclosing his business ventures, quickly followed by shameless promoting of his clothing line as he selects one of his own shirts. Now, don't worry folks, rest assured, we know that it's his clothing line as it's got his fucking name on it and he mentions it on average 430 times per vlog. Obligatory shot of breakfast... Next up, it's a trip to the head office of his clothing line. This is where people who have real jobs can be found. This retard will go on and bother them for about an hour or so before his ADHD kicks in and he's off to his next appointment. Most importantly, oh, this is where we find Alice. God damn. Well, don't I look very majestic? No, Tom, you look like a cunt. Back home, it's time to spend another afternoon chilling with his granddad. Rock and fucking roll! Then, it's off for a bike ride with his dad, who is clearly balls deep in a midlife crisis. Back home, it's time for some fucking around in front of a computer before he gets bored and summons his friends round because he's run out of things to do. Usual alcoholic-related nonsense ensues and then it cuts to the next day where he has to start moaning about having to clear up after himself. This, ladies and gentlemen, sums up half, if not two-thirds, of all the vlogs he's made. Now, Syndicate, I know you once read the label on a bottle of shampoo that said rinse and repeat, but fella, that applies to you in the shower. It does not apply to your fucking content. Now, I'm a little worried about putting this video up, as Syndicate has a habit of throwing bitch fits and getting social media accounts suspended if he sees anything negative about him on Twitter. Now, if that doesn't scream slimy cunt, I don't know what does, really. 
Now, you might be asking yourselves what brought him onto my radar in the first place, but truth be told, this is something I've wanted to do for a very long time now. I know a lot of people have already jumped on the I Hate Syndicate bandwagon, and since then the bandwagon has been repurposed, sold for firewood, but all that time it's still stuck in my throat, all the shitty stuff he's done. So I thought it was about time that I just made a video about it. So uh, until this video gets struck down by a syndicate, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. I've been the Gaming Womble, and so long for now, folks. Yeah.